and I'm back for another episode of Pokemon Light Platinum. In the last episode, we made it here to Seanport City, where we evolved our Electabuzz into Let Kid and did some other stuff, which included battling trainers, getting some items, etc., etc. In this episode, we're going to be heading over to Imatari Island with Steven and Lucas, and uh, we can talk to either, the, either of these two guys, but I think we're going to talk to Steven because we don't want to give away our game plan slash strategy against by talking to Lucas, even though, like, just answering a yes or no question about going to Imitari Island won't give away much of our strategy, but he is the next gym leader, so we want to keep him off our radar, I guess. So, let's head on this, like, Whalemer slash Whalord hot air balloon. All the way over to Imitari Island, which is kind of a deserted island. I'm not sure if you can hook up Pokemon with, like, the good rod in this water. I don't know if we even have to come back here because it does look like there's places to surf to. I'm just not very sure. So I'll have to see in the future if we have to come back here though. I'm not really sure if we will. Again, I think we may have to but I don't know. So uh, what we have to do is take on Team Steam members which are here. So let's just begin by taking on this guy. So Team Steam will always attack those who stand in the way of our dreams of conquest. Well, looks like you're gonna have to stand in my way because I'm gonna take you all out. So here we have Team Steam Grunt who leads off with Luxio, an electric type Pokemon, it's on level 25. It's the evolved form of Shinx and the uh, middle stage of the Luxray evolution chain. So we're just gonna go for a water pulse. I know I'm at a type disadvantage here, but I'm pretty sure that my Milotic will be able to take this thing. And it's using Swagger, which it's sort of weird. It did use Intimidate, well it didn't use Intimidate, it has Intimidate, which cut my attack stat. And then it used uh, Swagger to increase my attack again. It doesn't really matter though, because I'm using special attacks. And Water Pulse hits the two times I needed it to, so that'll be the end of Luxio. So we still beat a Pokemon even though we have the type disadvantage. And that's level 27 for my Lotic. Next Pokemon is going to be a Bronzor, which is actually a really annoying Pokemon. I'm sure people know how annoying it is. It, uh, it's a Steel and Psychic type Pokemon. It's really good defensively and special defensively because of its typing. And it can be really annoying to take out. So. I'm just going to go for Flamethrower with Arc of Flame because I believe it will be able to take it out, I hope. Uh, luckily, I don't think the ability Heat Proof exists in this generation, which would be Generation 3. I don't think it exists. Yeah, we took it out, but I don't think that would exist. Yeah, I don't think it exists in this generation. If it did, then uh, my Flamethrower might not have done as much damage. I still feel it would have, ho well, I hope it would have taken it out anyway, but... Yeah, Heat Proof can be really annoying when you're fighting Bronzors because they only have like two weaknesses being uh, Ground and... Uh, fire, and if you didn't have, if, like, if you had Heat Proof, then you could use Ground type moves. If it had Levitate, you'd have to use Fire type moves. It's just a weird Pokemon and very hard to take out at times. So I'm gonna switch Scorpio to the front of the party and give it the Lucky Egg. Try to get it up a few levels, I guess. And let's head on by taking on these Team Steam Grunts. Oh, we got a cutscene first, never mind. There's Sheila. Do I have to battle her again? How is it Metagross not beating a Stunky? And the same for a Gyarados. Terra, even Steven and Lucas together can't stop us now. It's time to use the blue and red orbs on this sacred mountain and awaken the two sleeping legendary Pokemon. Whoa, that was an amazing cutscene. I don't know how the guy even programmed that into the game. That was amazing. Alright, so let's just move on by taking on this trainer and see what Pokemon this team Steam Grunt has. Today is my lucky day. I finally defeat you. We haven't even started battling yet. Ugh, what an idiot. Alright, so another team Steam Grunt. This one has two Pokemon as well. And wow, he has a Toxicroak, which is on level 26, Fighting and Poison type. I'm going to go for uh, Headbutt because it's the only move I can use. That'll be kind of effective on this thing and it doesn't even do a lot of damage I'm kind of hoping that he does hit with swagger so I can do more damage with my headbutts so there we go we got hit by swagger which will actually make hurting myself in confusion a lot harder than usual and let's see how much damage I do to myself ah, not as much as I thought I thought it would be a lot more but still we can't re oh nice one Scorpio he snapped out of confusion which means we still get our attack stat raised 
And why wow, we need swagger again, so we have like maximum attack right now. Even well, I think I'm not sure how much swagger raises your attack, but we've got like maximum nearly attack. I think hopefully Scorpio will be able to hit and take this thing out. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, all right. Hopefully we'll be able to take this thing out. I'm kind of hoping you will, Scorpio. And it snaps out of confusion again. So this will definitely take out Tox Croak. And way to go, Scorpio. That should be level 27 without question. Yes, it is. So there we go. Scorpio grew to level 27. And it's going to send in Bronzor. So I'm going to retreat into Arc of Flame again. Arc of Flame is mainly going to be the only Pokemon that gets to fight against Bronzors. Because I already explained that they're pretty difficult Pokemon to take out. If you don't have the type advantage. So we're just going to go for a Flamethrower and hopefully take this thing out. And wow, Arc of Flame is still pretty high level. I think it's... Uh, yeah, actually, after Barney, it's my second highest level Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. There's... Uh, Bronze were taken out, and we defeat that Team Steam Grunt. So, he didn't defeat me like he said he was going to, or he said he was going to, yeah, he said he'll defeat me, but he didn't. So, he lied. Um, let me just take this and go with my Snorlax. So, let's give it the Lucky Egg. Like always, we give the Lucky Egg to increase the experience we get in battle. Team Steam is ready to defeat anyone that gets in our way. Well, uh, I think I'm going to be a bit too much of a challenge for you guys, honestly. You're just grunts. I'm here to take on the big guys, so I'm not here to fight you guys. Anyway, here is a Perugly on level 25. Very annoying Pokemon. So we're going to go for Belly Drum. I probably should have went for Yawn, actually, to start off, because that would have been a lot better. Put this thing to sleep. But we can go for Belly Drum and cut our attack, or cut our HP in half to maximize our attack. And yeah, I really should have went for Yawn, shouldn't I? We both would have been asleep then, but it doesn't really matter. So... Hopefully this thing won't do a lot of damage. Hopefully Snorlax will wake up quickly and I can just start using Headbutt. And Slax is fast asleep. See, Slax is just slacking off now and that's not really good for me. So I do need to take out this Procolian. Whoa, critical hit did a lot of damage. That was a little too much than I uh, kind of expect. Wow, okay. Four times and Slax is fast asleep. So I'm going to have to use a Hyper Potion to heal up my Snorlax. If I have a Hyper Potion, I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I have three. So we'll use a Hyper Potion and heal up Snorlax to full HP, and hopefully it will wake up on the next turn. I did use Belly Drum, so I'm back to full HP. So I still have my maximized attack, even with full HP. So I'm just going to go for Headbutt. Let's forget going for Yawn. I don't see the point now. And wow, it's Fury Swipes do a lot of damage, even though Fury Swipes doesn't usually do this much damage, I think. Maybe it's because Perugly has a really high attack stat and stuff. Anyway, Slax woke up and used Headbutt. And that's a one-hit KO on Perugly, so way to go, Snorlax. Next Pokemon getting sent in is going to be a Mistrevious. So I have to retreat because Snorlax can't do anything to this thing. I'm going to go for Elegance. See if I can take out this Mistrevious with my Milotic. I should be able to. I don't see why not. So in comes Mistrevious. We're going to go for Water Pulse because it does get the same type of attack bonus. And it's probably my strongest attack. Even though Ice Beam is very strong too. But Water Pulse will definitely be my best option. And... Did nearly less, uh, just less than half, or a little, yeah, a little less than half. We'll go for Twister, see how much damage we can deal with that. And yeah, Water Pulse will finish this thing off, so that'll be the end of Mistrevious. Luckily, I didn't flinch from Astonish. And there we go, there's Mistrevious defeated. And the final Pokemon is going to be a Bronzor. They all have Bronzor. Luckily, I have Arc of Flame to deal with those Bronzors. So, in comes Bronzor. It has a Mankey's Cry for some, uh, whatever reason. I guess it's in, it's edited in the game instead of Mankey, which is pretty cool. But, we're just gonna go for Flamethrower and take it out. I hope. And we do. So, down goes Bronzor. And 411 experience. Nearly gets Arc of Flame to level 30. And we can move on by taking on this trainer. Probably should have healed up, because Snorlax is pretty hurt, but he should be okay, I guess. Alright, so here we have another Team Steam member. It's Team Steam Grunt with a Haunter. So, using Slacks isn't my best option. I'm going to retreat into Arc of Flame just to get it to level 30 and because I can use Bite, which is super effective. So, we can get the Intimidate in and I'm pretty sure it's going to use, uh, well, I don't know what it's going to use. It's, he's using a Guard Spec, okay. So, the foe became Shrouded in Mist. I guess that means that it can't get, like, uh, burned and stuff. I don't remember what Mist does. I think it stops status inflictions. 
And yeah, as I predicted, two bites I'll be able to take this thing out. So Nightshade will do 26 damage, bringing me to 42. I was almost got there before it hit me. Ugh. All right, so down goes Haunter. And wow, that's a lot of experience just for beating a Haunter. Level 30. Next Pokemon is Mistrevis. So I'm gonna stay with Arc of Flame. Just go for Bite again. And Mean Luck is gonna prevent me from switching out, which I didn't even plan on doing, so it doesn't really matter. Let's use Bite. And it does over half, so another one should take it out. At least I hope so. Astonish. Gets a critical hit. But it doesn't make me flinch, so... Down goes Mistrevis to two Bites, just like Haunter. And 819 experience, which is actually a decent amount. I should probably heal up because my Pokemon aren't all in the best of shape right now, so let's go for a Hyper Potion. And heal up, uh, well actually not a Hyper, do I have anything else I can use? I don't think, I actually have my Moomoo Milk, so I forgot all about them. I'm going to use a Moomoo Milk on uh, Arc Flame, and on Scorpio as well, I think will be a good option. So we'll heal up Scorpio, and I'm actually going to use Scorpio first in the next battle. So we're going to take the uh, Lucky Egg uh, off Snorlax, switch Scorpio to the front, and give it the lucky egg because that's what we always do to get our Pokemon maximum experience. So it's Sheila yet again. This team, Team Steam, will overwhelm you. You idiot. I, Sheila, will destroy you this time. So another battle against the Team Steam admin, Sheila. This is our third time battling her, I think, so that's pretty cool, I guess. She, she, yeah, she starts off with a Haunter that's on level 28, so it's a good thing I let off with Scorpio. He does have Bite, and Mean Luck is going to keep me in the battle, so we'll just keep spamming Bite. It's the only move I can really use on it anyway that will do decent damage. And wow, Critical Hit didn't even do over half, so that's kind of sucky. Uh, Shadow Punch doesn't do a lot, so I should be able to take this thing. At least I hope so. Uh, another Bite could take it out, or it could be another two. We probably finish it with like Poison Sting if it doesn't finish it off. Yeah, I think a Poison Sting could probably finish this thing off. I shouldn't get really like that though, because I did expect the Potion. See, that's why I didn't want to go for the uh, Poison Sting. I predicted the Potion or Full Restore, so I didn't want to like waste a turn going for uh, Poison Sting. Uh, anyway, Nightshade is going to bring me down to, I'm not even going to try and guess, it's like 19 or something? 15. Wow, my math sucks. So, uh, let's go for another bite. And yeah, there goes Scorpio. He put up a good fight. He almost took out the Haunter, but she cheated and used a potion, so that's not really fair. Uh, let's go for Arc Flame. I know Arc Flame will be able to finish this thing off with a bite. So there's the Intimidate. And we'll go for Bite, which should finish off after this Shadow Punch, which only did 11 damage. And there goes Haunter. So that's one of Sheila's Pokemon defeated. Her next Pokemon is going to be Per Ugly, so I'm going to go with Bulbapedia on this one. Bulbapedia hasn't actually been in this episode yet. Neither has Barney. Everyone else has been in there, so we're going to go for Bulbapedia. And I'm just going to go for Sleep Powder on this thing, because if I put it to sleep, I can go for, like, Leech Seed, and then just start spamming it with stuff. So there's Sleep Powder, but it's missed, which is fantastic. And Hypnosis missed, so thank goodness for that. This time, Sleep Powder hits. And now I'm going to go for Leech Seed and start Razor Leafing this thing. So, Leech Seed, still fast asleep, which is good. And there's Leech Seed. So we're going to get HP back every turn, which is good. And let's go for Razor Leaf, see how much damage we can deal. Hopefully a lot. So there's Razor Leaf. And it's over half, so, uh, hmm. I'm not sure, well actually yeah, because Leech Seed, this next one should take it out, hopefully it's fast asleep, and it is. So we deal, uh, well we got rid of Perugly, hopefully quickly, and of course Razor Leaf would miss, just as I thought. I was going to take out her Perugly, that sort of sucks. Anyway, the next Razor Leaf will definitely take it out, so that's fine. It's still fast asleep, so hopefully we'll be able to hit. And how does your attack miss when the Pokemon is asleep? I don't understand how that, how that even happens sometimes. That sort of sucks that we missed twice in a row. Anyway, it woke up and used Faint Attack. So, Leech Seed is going to finish this thing off anyway, even if Razor Leaf surprisingly doesn't hit again. And wow, it hits this time when it has like a little bit of HP. Anyway, down goes Progly, so it's good to get that thing out of the way. Final Pokemon is Drift Blimp, so I'm going to go into Barney, who should be able to take this thing with one Thunder Punch. 
So in comes Barney, the Electabuzz, who evolved in the last episode. And we're going to go for a Thunder Punch and hopefully take this thing out. And it does it with a critical hit. So way to go, Barney, taking out Drift Blim with one hit. And I always thought that, well, because Drift Blim does have the Aftermath ability, it would have been pretty cool if it was programmed that it had the Rough Skin ability, so you'd still lose HP if you used, like, a physical attack. Anyway, let me switch Bulbapedia to the front, because I know he's going to be of use to me next. I'm going to take the Lucky Egg off Scorpio. And onto Bulbapedia, because the next battle is really going to be Bulbapedia versus uh, the Team Steam members, or leaders. Anyway, let's see what these people have to say. Let me fight in peace. Stop bothering me. Stunky, and uh, it's not even looking this way, so take it out, Lucas. Don't stop, Stu. This one's mine. Keep going, Stu. I got this one. Let me fight in peace. Stop bothering me. And it doesn't even let me engage with Metagross, but it lets me engage with Stunky, so they're looking the wrong way. You should be able to take them out. You again. Looks like you're turning out to be a very respectable trainer. You deserve the honor of being defeated by Team Steam's elite. Prepare yourself. So here we go, guys. It's a battle against Team Steam's leaders, Marina and Terra. So Marina and Terra are going to lead off with a Blastoise that is hacked because it's on level 32 and Blastoise doesn't evolve until, well, War Turtle doesn't evolve to Blastoise to level 36. So we're getting cheated here. But it doesn't really matter. We can just go for a uh, Sleep Powder, put it to sleep, and we should be able to take it out eventually. So let's go for Elite Seed. And just make sure that we get HP back every turn, even though we don't really need it. I think one Razor Leaf will probably be enough to take out Blastoise. Even though that's sort of, uh, I'm not really sure if it's true, because Blastoise is bulky, it's got decent defense and special defense. So we'll just have to see. So it's still fast asleep. And we're going to go for Razor Leaf. And this time, it, well, it hits, thank God, because I was kind of hoping that it would hit. And yeah, I was, maybe I was getting a little uh, ahead of myself by saying it would take one Razor Leaf to take out a Blastoise. Anyway, yeah, this Blastoise is hacked because it's on level 32 and War Turtle Ball is on level 36, like I already said. So these guys are cheating. They're worse than uh, Getsus and his damn Hydreigon, or whatever, Hydreigon. Hmm? Anyway, whoa, 2160 experience for Bulbapedia. Trying to learn its Sweet Scent, which kind of sucks, so I'm not going to teach it that. And, wow, nearly level 20, uh, level 30. Next Pokemon is Rhydon, which is a ground and uh, rock type. And it's level 32, so this is also a hacked Pokemon because it doesn't evolve until level 42. And one Razor Leaf takes out Rhydon with a critical hit, so that's awesome. So, 2097 experience gets Bulbapedia to level 30. And halfway up towards level 31, final Pokemon is Electros, an electric type Pokemon. So, I'm just gonna go for Sleep Powder. And how could I have speed and Electros? Because I'm a, it's, a, it's an electric type Pokemon. Electric type Pokemon are usually fast, or at least I think so. <laughs> it's kind of weird how I can outspeed it. Anyways, there's Sleep Powder, which is my usual sort of setup. Go for Sleep Powder on like the first turn. If it misses, then I'll go for it on the second turn and get sleep in. And we're gonna follow up with our usual strategy of going for the Leech Seed, just to get HP back and take down its HP every turn. Wow, it woke up straight away. That sort of sucks. Crunch does decent amount. That's a very decent amount. I didn't expect to do that much. Uh, let's go for Razor Leaf. I'm not going to bother putting it to sleep. Seeing as I outspeed it, I don't really need to, I guess. And wow, that's not doing a lot of damage at all. Maybe I should put it to sleep to avoid getting hit by Crunch again. Anyway, HP back from Leech Seed. And we'll go for Sleep Powder in this 8 hits, so that's good. And now we're going to get HP back from Leech Seed. And I probably shouldn't have Leech Seed because uh, because I have 29 HP, uh, Bulbapedia's ability, Overgrow, is going to kick in. So that would have made my Razor Leafs do a lot more damage, but it doesn't really matter. So it's still fast asleep, and uh, probably Tackle would even finish this thing off. The best thing about Electros is that it has the Levitate ability, so it doesn't get affected by ground types. Which sort of sucks if you're playing uh, with a ground type Pokemon. Well, if you have a ground, if you have a ground type Pokemon, it sort of sucks. And wow, it used a full restore. I didn't even pay attention to that. That really sucks. <laughs> so let's go for Sleep Powder again and put it to sleep. And then start spamming Razor Leaps once again, which is Bulbapedia's favorite strategy, I guess, because I make them use it so many times. And it's like a Battle Frontier in this game, and that'll probably uh, 
I can't remember if it's the battle tent where you uh, do the uh, well you don't pick your Pokemon's moves they pick the moves themselves and my, then Bulbapedia would definitely be using uh, the sleep powder leaf seed and razor leaf combo over and over again so uh, we're taking more HP with uh, leaf seed and we're back to full health I'm kinda hoping for a critical hit here just to take it out and we don't get one, but it's using charge, which is sort of stupid. It could just hit me with the crunch and do more damage. I should be able to take it out here with the razor leaf, unless they have another full restore, which would really annoy me. I kind of hope that they don't. So let's go for razor leaf, and they don't. So razor leaf hits, and that will be the end of Electros and Marina and Terra. It wasn't really, <clears throat> it wasn't a double battle, which sort of is weird because there was two of them. Anyway, that's level 31 for Bulbapedia, who grew like three levels in that battle. Impossible. You may be strong, but we've never been defeated. Well, you just got defeated by me. Despite our loss, our plan is still complete. We've awakened the legendary Pokemon Kyogre and Groudon, and we'll catch them at any cost. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. And it doesn't look good, either. Our season is using its telepathic powers to erase their memories. Are you okay, Stu? You've been asleep for three days. I don't really know what happened. The team Steam's disappeared and the blue and red orbs were absorbed into the into Imitari Island, never to be used again. We're safe for now. I'll return much to my duties, but Luke has asked you to meet him in the Sianport City Lighthouse. Good luck. Alright, so... Are you kidding me? Come on, where's the common courtesy? I've been asleep for three days, and nobody decided to heal up my Pokemon. <sighs> Alright, well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Life Platinum. In the next episode, we're going to head to the Lighthouse, meet up with Lucas, and maybe go for our next gym badge. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys more shortly enough.